Blender 3.5 has finally been released and it comes with a lot of exciting and amazing new features. Let's take a look at the 5 best of them. First up on the list is the new hair presets that Blender ships by default. The new curve-based hair system introduced in Blender 3.3 required manually setting up the nodes by yourself. Now in Blender 3.5, it's as easy as opening the asset browser, going to the Essentials asset library, then dragging and dropping the assets onto the hair curve. All the controls can be modified from the Geometry Nodes modifier. You can also drag and drop it into the Geometry Nodes tree and create a custom node setup according to your need. If you want to learn more about the new hair system and the presets, then the official Blender channel has got you covered. The second feature on our list is the long-awaited Viewport Compositor. You can now Finally. see the compositing right in the viewport without needing to re-render your images. To enable it, simply go to the viewport shading, then you can set the compositor to disabled, to only show up in the camera, or always in the viewport. Keep in mind that not all of the nodes are yet supported in the viewport compositor. Support of more nodes is planned in future releases. The third feature on our list is a game changer for sculpting. Previously, the only brushes that Blender supported were the black and white alpha brushes that could only displace the mesh up and down. But now, that has just been changed with the support of VDM, Vector Displacement Map Brushes. VDMs are new, but now they are also supported in Blender. They contain all the X, Y and Z data that can be used to displace the mesh in all directions. Adding details has now got so much easier with sculpting and it's also really satisfying and fun. It's like kit bashing for sculpting. You can also create your own VDM brushes. Blender Secrets has a great video on that. The fourth feature on our list is the light tree feature for effectively rendering scenes with a lot of lights. It reduces the noise significantly without increasing the render time. The fifth major update is for Mac users that leverage the power of metal, no, not that one, to increase viewport playback performance tremendously. So those were five major updates of Blender 3.5. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. If you find this video helpful, leave a like so that the YouTube algorithm pushes this video forward and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos and tutorials. I'll be back.